Minnesota ranks fifth in the nation in terms of agricultural production. That's according to the Department of Agriculture. And one program is hoping to diversify our farmers. ABC6 News reporter Emily Pofall is live in the newsroom with why some Minnesotans say this program is long overdue. Emily. James, Laura, this program that passed the state's gridlock legislature this session aims to help aspiring farmers who have never owned farmland before get started. The Hmong American Farming Association says that historically in Minnesota, Hmong farmers have had to pay hundreds of dollars more per acre of rented land than their white counterparts. Land access is critical. Land is insanely priced. Um, and it's not distributed equitably. A bill sponsored by Southeast Minnesota Senator Jean Dornick offers emerging farmers down payment help in the form of $15,000 grants. Inflations, what are farm farmland prices, and will $15,000 have substantial impact? Uh, that, that's, that's the question, right? The state's Emerging Farmers Working Group helped with the bill and says the goal is to give underrepresented and BIPOC farmers the opportunity to own land, something that's difficult for new farmers with no family wealth or inherited farmland. And it's that asset that no one can ever take away from you. People can take food, people can take money, people can take land, but it's that knowledge that you have that no one can ever take away from you. Renting farmers have even less control over what they plant and when. Farmers say it's hard to plant profitable crops when on an annual lease. Anything that grows for longer than one year, like asparagus or peonies, is not an option. Even just breaking into, you know, renting land from someone um, can be difficult for anyone, but it's like exceptionally difficult and challenging for um, new Americans. Many of which farmers say have jobs outside of farming to afford living costs. Applicants must live in Minnesota and intend to buy land within the state. They have to make less than $250,000 per year from farm products, and they have to be able to match the $15,000 grant. Laura James.